Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you my thoughts on the Law of Attraction. I had enough of you reach out to me asking me what my thoughts are on this so I figured I'd make a video to address it. And interestingly enough, when I was a teenager, probably from around the age of 13 to around 18 or so, I really believed in this. I just didn't quite have a term for it at the time, or at least until I got older. But I did have some experiences just with my life in general that made me realize there's something a bit more going on in the universe than what science can explain. And even up until now, I still believe that aspect of it because, I mean, quantum mechanics is enough to let us realize that, hey, the universe works in weird ways and there, there are sometimes just no ways to describe what the hell is happening. And we already know there's a lot out there that we can't see, especially even with our the naked eye. You can't see ultraviolet light. You can't see infrared light with just your eyes alone. So even that right there tells you that there's more out there than what we're capable of perceiving, at least with our normal senses. Obviously, we do have technology to kind of get in and experience some of it. But anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. Back to my thoughts on this. As an adult, I do not believe in the law of attraction in the way that it's kind of sold to people by the book The Secret and other things like that. Because, well, one, the people who are trying to sell you on the law of attraction are literally trying to sell you on it. They're taking your money. They're trying to sell you on a book or they're trying to sell you on their course or whatever other crap that they're trying to peddle. And that right there kind of doesn't sit right with me as well because if this thing, if this subject was legit, I don't feel like people would be trying to take your money to explain it, but I mean, I could be wrong. But anyway, <laughs> that's the first problem I have with it. But the second one is that you just, I've, all adults pretty much know this, or at least I would hope they realize this, you can't really get things in your life without working for them. You can't just manifest things out of thin air. For instance, if I were to stand right here where I am for a full month, and try to manifest a woman in my life, a girlfriend, to walk through my door, it wouldn't happen. They just, I mean, come on. I had, to get a girlfriend, I actually have to go outside and meet women. I can't just, there is no way that a woman's gonna break into my house and then break through this door and then say she wants to date me. That's just not how life works. So that right there, the law of attraction does not work in the way that people state that it does, where you just need to visualize things and then they come into your life. No. Now here's what I think. You have to visualize what you want your life to look like, what you want your future to be, so that you're clear on the goals that you can work towards. But that is the only purpose I see for it. I'll explain a bit more later on how there is more um, benefit to visualization. But for the most part, I would say use it to get clear on what you want your life to look like and then once you're clear on that, once you have a good mental image of the way you want your life to be in the future, start working towards it. Stop visualizing it anymore. Start working. I think the universe rewards people for taking action because the more I take action in my life, the luckier I've been. I've even told some of my friends and close family members that I feel like I'm a very lucky person. But I only became lucky when I started being action-based because the universe can't provide for you if you're just sitting in your room doing nothing. You have to go out there and work towards what you want. It won't just fall in your lap. I mean, going back to the earlier girlfriend example, she's not gonna break through my ceiling and just fall in my lap. That's not how life works. You have to work for the things that you want, but you need to have a good image of what you want your life to look like to know what you should be working towards. That's the power of visualization. It helps you get clear on your goals, and then you need to take action on them. But, so that's pretty much uh, my thoughts on the law of attraction right there. But if you wanna stick with me a bit longer, I'll actually explain how visualization can be beneficial in certain aspects because of a psychological study that was done, I don't even know how long ago, but um, they took basketball players and they had a control group who did just the normal thing, then they had a group who only practiced shooting hoops and nothing else, and they had another group who only visualized themselves shooting hoops but didn't do any actual physical practice. And I think it was, I wanna say about a month was the, the total length of the study. I, I'm a bit hazy on this, so look it up if you really wanna know the full details. So I'm just summarizing here. But basically, at the end of the month, 
they found that the group who visualized themselves shooting hoops were the most accurate with their free throw percentage out of all the groups. So there's something significant there. When you visualize things that are more mechanical, like actual activities that you do with your body, I guess, for lack of a better explanation, your brain can't usually tell the difference between your thoughts, the visual, visualizing it, versus actually doing it. So for anything more physical, like sports, are obviously a great example thanks to the study, things like that, it's actually powerful to visualize yourself doing the activity because the more you're practicing making that free throw, the more your brain is kind of making the, I guess, mental memory of how to do that thing. It's going through the mechanics of how to make that shot and visualizing everything you need to do so that when you actually go and do it in person, you'll have that muscle memory there so that you can now perform that exercise. But it only really works in that regard. Obviously, for things that you can't exactly physically work for, like visualizing a house in your life, if you just visualize owning a house and you do nothing, there's no way you're going to get a house. So visualizing in that regard isn't going to be helpful at all. But if you are an athlete or if you want to be a professional gamer or something, you could visualize yourself playing video games or you could probably even visualize yourself working out if you have no method of doing it right now. And maybe that will help you to some, in some way, but it probably won't help you lose a ton of weight or build a lot of muscle, but it will help you when you're finally able to get back in the gym and you'll probably have decent form if you visualize yourself using decent form. But basically what I'm getting at is there is some benefit to visualization, but it's only with physical activities or things you can actually act out. You can't quite visualize obtaining items because that's just not the way the world works. It's not going to manifest things for you out of thin air. In fact, the law of attraction has made me kind of dislike the word manifest because of the way it's used. You really can't get something without doing anything for it. You can't get something for nothing. You have to exchange something. And usually the exchange is your time and energy, which allows you to earn money. And then that money allows you to buy the things that you want, but they're not just gonna fall in your lap. Even when it comes to winning the lottery, which is what a lot of people try to visualize themselves doing, you still have to take action on that. You have to go out and buy the ticket. If you don't buy the ticket, you can't win the lottery. So if you just visualize yourself winning it and you never go out and purchase a ticket, that visualization means nothing. But even so, just visualizing yourself winning the lottery probably isn't going to help you win it, even if you buy a ticket. So anyway. Yeah, for the most part, I do think the law of attraction, the way that it's stated by books and courses is a bit of a, a bit of a scam, <laughs> but visualization has its benefits. You just need to use it to figure out the life you want and then take action on it. You have to work for the things that you want. They are not going to fall in your lap. But like I said, from my own experience, the universe rewards you for taking action. So never be afraid to actually work for the things that you want after visualizing the way that you want your life to be. There is benefit in that. And if you ask me, that's almost the way I view the law of attraction. It's just the universe will help you if you have an idea of what you want and if you actually work for it. But if you have no idea where you want to be or you don't work for it, the universe can't help you because you're not even clear on what you need to do anyway. So I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.